good morning and uh, thank you for uh, uh, watching this uh, short video on the AgroBridge uh, project uh, financed by the uh, European uh, Union and uh, devoted to building bridges between uh, producers and uh, consumers. Uh, this uh, short intervention from my side, I'm Carlos Garcia from uh, CTA, uh, expert of uh, uh, public pro uh, of, on uh, public procurement and uh, particularly on public uh, procurement of innovation. Um, will be uh, my intervention will be dealing with uh, the aspects of uh, sustainable uh, food public. Uh, Procurement, which has, uh, which are uh, closely uh, related and framed into uh, the uh, European Union uh, legislative uh, package. Um, it is uh, important uh, to uh, stress that uh, food public uh, procurement is uh, both uh, explicitly and uh, implicitly uh, taken into consideration in this public uh, procurement uh, legislative uh, package uh, setting uh, up by the um, uh, European uh, Union. Uh, I will be also uh, briefly mentioning some uh, voluntary uh, green public uh, procurement criteria uh, related to uh, food uh, procurement and uh, some final conclusions and considerations on the way forward uh, as to how to implement uh, public procurement uh, initiatives uh, related to uh, food procurement. First of all, uh, it is important to note that uh, there are currently in place uh, a set on, of new generation uh, public procurement uh, directives since uh, 2014 uh, with a, a number of main drivers that uh, um, uh, frame uh, the uh, implementation of these uh, legal um, provisions. Uh, first one is uh, the uh, simplification and uh, modernization of uh, uh, the public uh, Procurement, second one, openness and transparency, uh, third one, fair competition and accessibility, the fourth one, in, uh, which, is, uh, which uh, has got clear uh, importance in this context, is the best quality price uh, ratio. I will be insisting on the quality uh, issue uh, later on. Uh, uh, number five is the efficiency and efficacy of the public uh, Procurement uh, and the last but not uh, least one uh, is the strategic use of public procurement for social, uh, economic, and uh, environmental um, aspects. Uh, as one uh, can uh, uh, detect, uh, background uh, environmental and social uh, considerations are there uh, in terms of uh, resource saving. Uh, in, in terms of uh, environmental protection, uh, also greenhouse gases uh, emission uh, minimization, uh, environmental and, uh, uh, entrepreneurship, and uh, uh, innovation. But uh, all uh, these environmental and social uh, considerations uh, must be conditioned to uh, the overarching uh, principle uh, of not uh, drifting from uh, the uh, contract uh, subject matter uh, and the added value that this uh, criteria must provide uh, within the uh, public procurement uh, process in terms of usefulness, uh, performance, uh, safety and uh, security uh, uh, aspects, uh, costs, etc. Uh, so uh, it is important to uh, have in mind right from the start that these uh, environmental and social uh, considerations uh, must be cautiously uh, adopted when uh, setting up a public uh, procurement uh, of food. Uh, so um, it is important to note also that uh, the adoption of these uh, environmental and social uh, consideration is voluntary. Uh, the uh, EU legal framework does not impose directly the incorporation of these clauses in uh, public 
procurement, although, of course, uh, tries to promote and foster uh, and uh, highlight the added value that these considerations may uh, incorporate if uh, duly uh, taken into uh, consideration. Um, uh, in, this, in this sense, and uh, with a view to facilitate the uh, adoption of these uh, clauses, uh, the European Union uh, published in uh, 2019 a, a guiding uh, document on green public uh, procurement criteria for food, catering services, and vending uh, machines. Um, uh, this uh, guiding uh, document is uh, important uh, in the sense that uh, establishes uh, some uh, guidelines uh, on how to and which uh, uh, criteria uh, to uh, consider and how to put them uh, in place. But uh, taken alone, this uh, regulation or this guidance uh, is not enough because uh, uh, in the end, some contradictions still persist uh, between some main drivers of uh, the uh, European uh, public procurement uh, legislative uh, package and these uh, recommendations. Um, first and foremost, uh, the um, uh, EU legislative package calls for uh, a new wide open uh, competition, non-discriminatory single market uh, uh, distortions and sustainable local food uh, procurement may, uh, if not uh, mm, properly taken into consideration, distort this uh, principle. So, uh, local food procurement uh, must be uh, promoted and uh, fostered only uh, if it can be uh, demonstrated that it will provide a better uh, quality price ratio uh, and uh, that it will not distort the open competition. It is important to 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 have it in uh, in uh, 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 in mind. Okay. Um, um, uh, likewise, uh, some uh, local uh, labeling schemes or uh, locally based. Uh, 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 promotion schemes related uh, to uh, the provision of uh, sustainable food, which are uh, on the one hand uh, promoted uh, uh, through the private sector, are not uh, are not uh, directly applicable to the public sector uh, for the uh, uh, reasons I have just mentioned. Uh, the uh, likely distortion of the uh, competition when uh, applying for a public tender. Uh, so, in this sense, it's uh, contradictory having on the on the one hand uh, local denomination products, uh, also uh, schemes for local uh, um, uh, gastronomic uh, tourism, for instance, or uh, consumption markets. Uh, uh, but uh, in the public sector, uh, this is not directly uh, applicable, as I uh, mentioned beforehand. Um, so, uh, it is also important that uh, the um, definition and setting of any mandatory minimum public procurement criteria at U level uh, will necessitate taking into consideration local food supply, regional food economies, and national food uh, Production. Um, uh, in this in this sense, uh, for example, in countries with with modest uh, organic food uh, production, it could be detrimental uh, to the uh, emergence of a, a sustainable local food uh, production chain. So uh, these uh, these legal uh, measures uh, can be uh, coupled uh, with uh, some incentives to uh, promote the emergence of this local uh, suppliers' fabric. Uh, in this sense, there must be a balance between fair competition and fair food system within uh, legislative uh, boundaries. 
with uh, regard to the EU food the green public uh, procurement criteria, uh, it must be noted that there are two levels of uh, environmental uh, ambition, uh, uh, a core uh, uh, body of uh, criteria and a wider, uh, more comprehensive set of uh, them um, that can be used at different stages, uh, either as uh, selection uh, criteria, as technical uh, specifications, as uh, award uh, criteria, and also as contract uh, performance uh, clauses. Okay, uh, these uh, criteria can be applied to food uh, supply, catering services, vending uh, machines, uh, and uh, in this in this sense, uh, prior to uh, use these uh, uh, criteria, um, local procurers uh, should check. Uh, market uh, availability of these uh, potential uh, suppliers meeting these uh, green public uh, procurement criteria. Uh, I will not enter in the very details of these uh, uh, concepts, just to just to uh, briefly uh, mention them uh, in uh, what respects uh, their consideration as technical uh, specification or award uh, criteria. Uh, it could be uh, uh, dealing with uh, uh, resources, input or the supplies, minimization, diet composition, uh, animal welfare, and sustainable husbandry or uh, fishing, waste uh, prevention, sorting and uh, disposal, transport, uh, minimization of transport costs, and uh, uh, transport uh, related uh, emissions, and uh, uh, fair and ethical trade. Uh, if we take them into consideration as a selection criteria or contract performance clauses, uh, there are also some provisions uh, related to tender competencies, procurement practices uh, in the food chain uh, supply by the uh, tenderers, uh, environmental management uh, by the tenderers, staff training, uh, equipment, and surplus uh, redistribution in case of uh, underconsumption of these uh, uh, supplied uh, foods. Just as a conclusion, uh, it is important to note that despite the European Union efforts, uh, the current uh, food procurement related legal and policy framework is fragmented, is still uh, fragmented, and uh, falls short as a uh, transition uh, ena uh, 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 enabler. There are some, co some, some uh, contradictions in place uh, between uh, the aim to uh, widen up as much as possible uh, competition and uh, opening markets and the necessity to foster uh, local uh, short uh, food supply chains. Um, in, this, in this sense, uh, it is not recommended to uh, put in place uh, food procurement uh, initiatives uh, relying only uh, in the uh, criteria of local uh, supply. Local uh, supply must be conditioned by the uh, observance of the best quality price uh, ratio and uh, also uh, the uh, observance of uh, the better uh, alignment of uh, the uh, contract subject matter. It, this is very uh, important, okay? Uh, in an indirect way, uh, short food uh, supply chains can be taken into consideration, but uh, sticking to these uh, principles. Also, uh, uh, um, it, is, it is possible to uh, adopt this local uh, food uh, procurement uh, uh, supplies for public uh, authorities uh, as long as uh, some uh, specific uh, issues uh, related to uh, local uh, culture, uh, gastronomy, national health uh, system recommendations or alike uh, are uh, available. This is also a, um, an alternative to uh, uh, pave the way for the uh, implementation of this local uh, supply uh, of food for uh, public procurers. Uh, it can be also noted that uh, for the time being, only a few countries are adding uh, environmental uh, sustainability uh, criteria specifically. So 
uh, 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 gain uh, quality price, quality price, and uh, alignment with a uh, contract subject uh, matter is the main uh, driver. Uh, uh, innovation uh, can be used as a way uh, to uh, indirectly uh, promote local uh, innovative solutions, meeting uh, quality, uh, environment, social, and uh, market-related uh, uh, issues. Uh, in this sense, uh, the EU and uh, Green Public Procurement Criteria are a starting point and uh, in a common basis for uh, developing more precise tender uh, specification, but uh, again, must be used cautiously and jointly with other tools and refer, uh, as I had just mentioned, to regional territory patterns and health uh, schemes. Thank you so much uh, for listening. And uh, uh, should you need any other information uh, regarding the AgriBridge uh, project, please uh, look at the uh, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, and the webpage of uh, the project. Thank you so much.